The group Fire Madison Cawthorn has filed a complaint with the Office of Congressional Ethics against the congressman. They accuse them of a number of violations. News 13's Samir Nefsi breaks down the complaint. The controversial congressman now facing claims of insider trading, an inappropriate relationship with a staffer, and violating financial rules. Those are just some of the violations the group Fire Madison Cawthorn has leveled against him in this complaint submitted on April 27th. This is different. This is not politics as usual. This is not easily dismissed as just another campaign slam. More accusations against Congressman Madison Cawthorn. We uh, filed this complaint based upon information and facts that we were received. David Wheeler with Fire Madison Cawthorn tells News 13 they've requested the Office of Congressional Ethics to investigate the congressman for not one, but seven ethical violations. From most recently bringing a loaded gun to the airport and having a dagger on school property, they're also accusing him of providing gifts and loans to an employee of the house and not properly filing financial disclosures and an inappropriate relationship with a staffer. They're also requesting an investigation into his relationship with a Bitcoin company. We want the professionals to take a look at this and see whether uh, he has violated uh, either house rules or the law. There could be an investigation. We'll have to see when that happens. We reached out to the Office of Congressional Ethics for a comment, but they declined, stating, quote, we are unable to speak to the issue, end quote. The office was created in 2008 as an independent, nonpartisan office that reviews allegations of misconduct against members, officers, and staff of the House. This is not a traditional court of law. It doesn't follow the rules of a traditional court of law. According to the OCE website, an investigation begins when at least two members of the OCE board request staff look into a matter. As for the investigation, there's two stages. A preliminary review that's completed in 30 days and overseen by two board members picked by the Speaker of the House and Minority Leader. The second phase of review is completed within 45 days. There's an outside possibility that they could try to not seat him if he's reelected. Um, it is possible that he could lose his seat. I do not think this is likely. Now, according to OCE's review process, during the second phase of the review, at least four members have to agree to either move the case forward or dismiss it. In studio, Samir Nafsi, News 13. Congressman Cawthorn is facing